Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my people. You are welcome to my channel. This is a global solution for all mankind. How are you doing? Well, uh, my name is Dr. Wilson Tayo, and I'm happy to invite you again on this uh, channel today. It's a wonderful day, and this is a day that the Lord has met. We shall rejoice and be glad in the day. And today's discussion is about um, how to become um, attract millions of money. This uh, getting hundreds and thousands, and then it will lead to millions. Then it will help us to become millionaires. But I want to teach something very, very important. Very, very important that is related to generating money so that uh, money will not uh, miss from your pocket. I want every one of you that come across this video to listen carefully because this video is going to change and totally transform your lifetime. Uh, from now hence, if you, by the grace of God, you will follow this teaching and seriously practice everything that I'm going to put here, I want to assure you that you are going to change and you are going to become a millionaire and a billionaire in your lifetime. You will never become poor again. And I, Dr. Tayo, have been struggling. I struggle a lot in many years. But after discovering these secrets I share with you, uh, my life is changing every day. Financially, I'm not a beggar again. By the grace of God, um, I don't depend on the church. I'm the financier of my church. When the other ministers gather people to collect money from them, I'm the one that uh, fund the programs and the activities in the church. 95% of everything, in fact, 98% of everything that happening in my ministry, my money is coming from my own pocket. And this is because of discovering the secrets that I want to put here. How to generate money, whether it is dry time or it is rain season, God is going to hear you, the universe is going to stand with you, and the nature is going to support you. Now quickly, let's uh, start our journey and go to the video. The number one point that I want you to know that a hand that receive, give it is a hand that receive it. If you are a man or a woman who is a stingy person, when you receive, you want to keep. You don't want to release it. Then expect a seed to die in your own pocket. I want you to know that if you give, you shall receive. Even the Holy Bible tells us that you give and whatever you give, you shall receive. So if you want to be a, a billionaire and a billionaire and God uh, strengthen you in the financial dimension, I want you to know that you must learn to be a giver. You must learn to be a giver, a generous giver. You must be a giver by revelation. You must be a giver by habit. You must practice the habit to be a giver. And you must be a giver if the Lord touches you. No matter whatever the, it is, you have to give it out if the Lord leads you to give. Again, I told you, if you want to be a giver, you must give up by the revelation. You give knowing what is involved in. That is by revelation. And then you practice giving. You be a giver. Every day you must give out something. Giving out into the society, giving into the community, giving in the source of people. It's not wasting your time. It's not wasting your resources. Giving is an investment. Whatever you give into the lives of people, 
within the community, within the society, you are investing. When you give out, you have opened the door for you to receive. So number one thing I want you to learn is that you must be a generous giver. Even the scripture says the Lord loves a generous giver. So if you become a generous giver, the Lord will love you. That is the number one thing, a habit that you must adopt, you must train, you must learn, you must practice, and you must become a lifestyle within your life. A well or a river that has the outlet, it also have the inlet. If it has only inlet, the water will smell. The water will become dirty. But if the river has an inlet and outlet, I want to assure you that the water is fresh and people can drink of the water. So if you become a giver, you become a receiver. God will channel money on your way because you transfer that money to reach to other people for other things to be taken care of. That's number one point. Money, as I told you, is a spirit. You can attract money in your wallet. You can attract money in your, in your bag. Those of you that are women, you are carrying the purse. You can attract money in your bag, in your purse. And then men, you can attract money in your wallet. Wallet is a point where you put your money. And I want to teach you things that you should do after adopting the habit of a giving, a generosity giver. Remember, you don't sow a seed uh, into a cast ground. Giving to the community is not a cast ground. Giving to the society is not a cast ground. Giving to the, uh, the poor, the needy, and all the, the church activities the ministry, the works of the kingdom is not a waste of money. And I want to assure you the God that gave you that heart, he will stand with you and prove his word. It shall come to pass that the work of the Lord is not in vain. He shall reward you. Now, um, the place where you carry money, uh, the wallet, is a very, very important. This place, if you are a woman, you have a place where you carry money. If you are a man, maybe you are like me, you carry money on a wallet like this. If you have a wallet like this, where do you carry money? That is very, very important to know how to attract money in this wallet. You can put some things in your wallet that will drive away money. Or you can put some things in your wallet that will attract money to remain in your pocket. So I want to start by telling you the things that you should put in your pocket to make sure that money remain in your pocket. When you receive money like this, you receive money, eh? this is Kenya money. When you receive money like this, the, the first thing I want you to know is supposed to be in your pocket is money. So, put money in your pocket. Eh? Put money in your pocket. When you receive money, put money in your pocket. 